Tonight, inside the rescue to save a man who scaled our new six tower. No me at one point, climbing 400 feet in the air, with negotiators looking up, determined to get him down safely. That team of experts intervened moments after this all began around 11 a.m. today. Crisis negotiation world, once you start talking, we're not going to leave you. And just before 7.30 tonight, they were there to help the man into an ambulance. Tonight, we're working to figure out how he's doing after safely making it back to the ground. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. The situation lasting more than eight tense hours right outside our News 6 studios today. News 6's Nikki Zizaza joins us live with the moment this took a turn and he started to come back down. Nikki. Yes, Lisa, unfortunately, the scene is clear now when everyone is safe. However, the man who scaled this 400 foot tower just behind me had drivers, pedestrians and police on edge this afternoon and this and crisis negotiator. Okay. Orlando firefighters and police helped in nearly eight hours of drama along John Young Parkway on Wednesday. Poquito, poquito, okay. Around 11 a.m., News 6 traffic safety expert Trooper Steve Montero says he spotted an unidentified man going into a secure area. Hey, what's this gentleman doing? And we looked in full sprint towards our tower, backpack in hand, um, obviously not supposed to be on property. Mm -hmm. First responders rushed to the scene and stood by, ready to help with recovery as the man continued his ascent making it at least 300 feet up the tower. Our crisis negotiators attempting to speak with him over a loudspeaker in both English and Spanish. Uh, unfortunately, uh, he has not really been responsive uh, to those attempts so far. However, things changed once another Orlando crisis negotiator stepped in. Her voice steady, her words and tone calm, but intentional. For hours, the man she identified as Alex, based on information found in a backpack he was wearing, clung to the structure as the negotiator established a rapport through a bullhorn hundreds of feet below. At one point, convincing him to walk a few feet down where a fall would be less deadly. The adrenaline-fueled moment came when the negotiator got off the loudspeaker, convincing the man to come down. At one point, you can see him pausing as the negotiator skillfully dissolves whatever hesitation remained. Our camera's rolling. During the gripping moment, the man is seen here making it to the ground and ending the hours-long saga before police escorted him away. At this time, it is still unclear what provoked the man to climb this tower, but we have just learned that the 43-year-old man was transported to the hospital for a physical and mental evaluation. Most importantly, this ended safely. For now, I'm live in Orlando, Nikki Zaza getting results. News 6. All right, Nikki, thank you.